All right, uh, seventh grade, we're getting now into chapter three. I'm gonna talk about terms and like terms, simplifying equations. This first section here, identify the terms and like terms in the expression. Well, when we talk about terms, terms are any number that show up in the problem. So if I look at this first one, 2r squared plus 7r minus r squared minus 9, and I were to list the terms, and this is how you're going to have to do it on your paper, terms, my first term is 2r squared. It's a positive. There's no negative sign there. Then plus 7r, but remember the addition sign is interchangeable with the positive sign, so it's a positive 7r, and so I don't need to put a plus sign in front of it. Then it's a minus r squared, so my term is a negative r squared. And then my term is a negative nine, okay? So that's the terms. Now, like terms. Like terms are numbers that have the same variable and the same exponent. Same variable, same exponent. So when I talk about listing like terms, I see that both of these have an r squared. I have a positive 2r squared and a negative r squared. So I will say those are like terms, 2r squared, negative r squared. There's nothing else that uh, has a square, so I can circle those to show that they belong in the same group. Now my other two terms, I use the r squared, I use the negative r squared, I've got a plus 7r and a negative 9. Those are not like terms. This has a variable, this doesn't. There's no exponent. But the only set of like terms in this expression here are 2r squared and negative r squared. Now, when I go to here, we're going to have first, we're going to list my terms. My first term is 7. Then I have a positive 4x. Then I've got a negative five. Then I've got a positive X. And then I've got a plus two Y. All right, so we're just gonna put the two Y. Now, like terms, numbers that have the same variable and the same exponent. Well, I have a positive four X, and then I just have X. Same variable X, same exponent, there isn't one. So like terms would be x and 4x. There's nothing else with just an x. So I'll go ahead and circle that. That's a pair that goes together. But then I see that I have a y here. Nothing else has a y. So there's no like term with that. But now I have just two numbers, 7 and negative 5. There's no exponent. There's no variable, so they are like terms in the sense that they have the same variable, there isn't one, and they have the same exponent that there isn't one. So the like terms would be seven and negative five. All right, let's move right along. Let's talk about the second part that tells us to simplify the expression. Simplify the expression. We're not really solving it, because we don't know what a variable equals, so we're not really solving equations. This is kind of the first step of that. Simplify the expression. Negative 10y plus 15y, but now this is the math that you gotta do. Negative 10 plus 15. Negative 10 plus 15 is a negative 5y. Actually, sorry positive 5y. I made a mistake. Negative 10 plus 15 is going to be a positive 5y. That's going to be my simplified expression. It's combining like terms. Number two, 3 eighths x minus 3 fourths x. Well, these are like terms because they have x as a variable and then they, neither one of them have an exponent, so they have the same exponent technically. 
So really all I'm worried about doing here is 3 eighths minus 3 fourths. Well, I want a common denominator. With 8 and 4, I'm going to say 8. So I want to figure out what 3 fourths is over 8. Well, 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm going to do 3 times 2 and get 6. So I'm going to make this 3 eighths minus 6 eighths. My 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths. So I'm going to get rid of the 3 fourths here. I'm going to subtract 6 eighths. Well, 3 eighths minus 6 eighths is negative 3. So I end up with negative 3 over 8. Let's go to the next one. I know this says number 5, but that's okay. 2.4g minus 2.4g minus 9.8g. Sometimes you might have more than two like terms together. A pair, like terms don't just have to be a pair of two. They can have more than two as long as they have the same variable and the same exponent. Here's an example where they all have g as a variable, no exponent. So I just combine. I just basically, there's no parentheses, there's no exponents to clear, there's no multiplication and division, so I'm just going left to right. 2.4g minus 2.4g, well, that's going to be 0. 2.4 minus 2.4 is 0. So then I have nothing minus 9.8g. I end up with a negative 9.8g. That's the simplified expression. Now, when I go to this one, 14 minus 3x plus 8 plus x. Well, first let's deal with 14 plus 8, combining the like terms. 14 plus 8 is 22. But then I have a negative 3x, negative 3x plus x. So it's like negative 3 plus 1, because remember when there's no variable in front of the x, that's a 1. We envision a 1 there. Well, negative 3 plus 1 is a negative 2. So this would be 22 minus 2x. All right, 2y minus 9y plus 8x minus x. 2y minus 9y plus 8x minus x. Okay, well, 2y minus 9y, that's just 2 minus 9. 2 minus 9 is negative 7y plus 8x minus x. So this is like 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. So that's a positive 7. So it's going to be plus 7x. Okay? Last one. 2.5k plus 4.3k minus 5. Well, my like terms are 2.5k and my 4.3k. When I add 2.5 and 4.3, I end up with 8 there. 2 plus 4 is 6. I end up with 6.8k. That combines those two. Then my minus 5 just becomes part of my answer. Now, if I did this and wrote minus 5 plus 6.8k, that would also be OK. Flipping the subtraction by making this number a negative and then adding what's there. All right, so that's lesson 3.1. Talk to you later, seventh grade. Bye.